Cobalt Strike is one of the most prolifically used offensive security tools on the planet. It was created back in 2012 by one person, Raphael Mudge, and has since become the go-to tool for hackers of all types. Now I'm going to show you how you can take a Cobalt Strike PowerShell stager and extract relevant information, including the command and control IP address using nothing but CyberChef. Then I'm going to show you how you can take a Python script and extract more relevant information from the Cobalt Strike stager, including the watermark or license key. Okay, so I found a sample on Malwarebazaar database. Now Malwarebazaar is just a place for sharing malware samples. Probably a good one to look into. Make sure that we can click all the motorcycles. All the motorcycles, that's a person, but I'm sure it counts. Hey, winner, winner. I'm going to extract it. Its password is infected, drop in the payload. If we remove the null bytes, the next thing we want to do is get what is hidden within this uh, char byte array. And the reason is because this is going to have an ex bitwise exclusive or operation, a BXOR operation with a key of 136. And it's essentially going to be then allocated into memory. What we want to know is what is this shell code? Let's get uh, some regular expressions going on. And what we're probably gonna look for is any kind of characters that are numbers and commas in this particular case. We could go zero to nine. Also add in that. And let's just say it has to be more than 60 characters. And look at that, straight away, this little shortcut has just given us everything that we need. So very easy to extract that relevant information. So let's list the matches. What we wanna do here is we wanna take this from decimal. And now the delimiter here is a comma and we've got something a little bit more usable. Now let's do that exclusive or operation, the bitwise exclusive or operation. And we have a key of 136. It's not hexadecimal, it is actually decimal. And suddenly we get something a little bit more interesting. So let's go ahead and use strings in order to get rid of a lot of the junk. And now we can actually see that this looks like what it is essentially using to gather that second stage payload for the Cobalt Strike Beacon. So the stager will be connecting back to this particular IP address using this particular user agent. We could actually do this a little, little bit more robust. What if all of it was using this char byte array, but yet sometimes the key changed, so it wasn't an exclusive or operation of 136. So we would then have to have some regex to pick up everything after this BXOR, so now that we've got the dot match, it's all, there we go. That will allow us to just to extract the 136 key. A lot of people don't know that CyberChef has registers where you can actually store your content and restore your content. So first off, we're gonna store everything that we've got in register zero so that we can restore it because it is a linear set of operations. So we're going to store that in R0. We are going to extract the key of 136. Then we are going to store that in another register. So we've got 136 there as well. Now we are going to do a find and replace for everything. Replace it with everything that is in register zero. That's going to give us our content back. Now we can do a regular expression from decimal. And then instead of using the 136 here, we should be able to just use a, an R1 and get the exact same content back. And you can see it looks like it's actually worked. We want to get rid of this global match when we do that. And same stuff, key works as well. There you go. If we actually look at this particular payload and we go back a little bit, this little bit of characters after the IP address is a little bit interesting. I'll show you why. What we're going to do is we're going to convert this to hex. Now this gets us 1374CD1C. So we can convert it from base 16 and that gets us this number of 3264217788. Now that is the watermark or the license key tied to this Cobalt Strike beacon. The actual license used by the Cobalt Strike framework in order to create this payload. And this can be very useful for tracking individuals that have actually used this. But how can we confirm this? Well, there is a really nice tool. Now I've gone ahead and cloned it already. Now this tool will allow you to get the configuration details from the shell code that we actually have. We want this, this is the raw shell code. Now, if we save this to a file, 
call it download.dat, sure. And now we open up our terminal and we use this particular Python script. We can see that it's extracted the same relevant information that we just did. It's got the net location path, the command and control IP address. And it's also got the port that it's on. It shows the headers that are gonna be used by it, a few other things like internet connection flags that are gonna be set, and that watermark. That's 326-421788. So that's just one way that you can take a Cobalt Strike stager, get relevant information, and then use that in your investigations. Did you find it interesting? What is your favorite CyberChef recipe? Let me know in the comments section below.